Hello friends, this is Gladys again, coming to you to um, continue on with our work of our Disney theme, theme um, large photo album. I am having problem downloading or uploading my um, last video, which is video number four. And right now I'm trying to do something different with the computer, so hopefully it, um, it will, you know, uh, be able to up, upload it to YouTube so you guys can see it. But if not, I'm going to give you kind of a recap of what we've done there. Up to that time, <clears throat> or during that episode, we put together all the pages onto the spine of the book. And um, I told you to put tape on all the spine. And um, once you put the tape, you need to remove it. Oops, there it is. Then we're going to we're going to angle this corners right here. We're just going to snip, and I'll show you how much to take off right now. So it's when I say, you know, it's just a little bit of of um, the corners that you're going to taper. The reason for that is because the 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 height of this spine is the same as the page so if you leave no room for wiggling it's going to be very hard to put it in now you were supposed to have seven pages already made of this the main page or the large piece is it measures 11 and a half 11 and a half tall by 11 and three quarters wide and then you have this piece that it measures six wide by 12 then you're going to score <clears throat> excuse me you're going to score half um, a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch over here and you're going to add it to the page so in order to form this pocket that you just see right here and I know in the last video you are, you saw how to put this together, but if you know that, that video doesn't work for whatever reason, here we are. What you're going to do once you have all your all your pages put together this way in um in um pocket formation, you're going to go in and kind of bubble the po the pocket a little bit, and then try to get the hinge in there, there, and try to cement it all the way down, making sure that this page and this page do align together and once you have that there like I already have that there then I'm gonna burnish with my finger because I have tape underneath and then I'm gonna burnish here too and it's all nice and put together there it is that's all we have to do for the main pages now this is obviously what we're doing here is the guts of the book but <clears throat> pardon me uh, from now on we're going to start forming um, the flips and the flops and the pockets and the you know areas that we're going to be uh, working with and I'm going to be uh, matting at the same time so you kind of have an idea how this is going to go all right I'm gonna get my paper together and we'll continue in just a little bit okay friends so let's continue I managed to get some papers that uh, I'm going to use for um, matting so but I'm gonna tell you we're gonna be working on page number one okay so you page number one it's going to look just like this just like the rest of them so you have a pocket here and just plain over here so now what I did for the first um, page I added this big old flap and it's you know kind of hard for me to put it in perspective since it's so big but um, but you you know hopefully you'll be able to capture it so this sheet measures it's gonna measure 12 by 11 and a half and on the 12 inch side I'm sorry on the 11 and a half inch side uh, no no I'm sorry it is on the 12 inch side you're gonna put it on the scoreboard and you're going to um, make a one inch score line and that's this right here you add tape and you add it to the back of the uh, page number one so you have this big flap that opens this way here's the original pocket and then this one is going to be like this now so again this is 12 by 11 and a half one inch score line on the 12 inch side and then just put it behind this page so it kind of grabs to it now over here I am going to put a little pocket here and this one measures let's see it's a four and a half by seven and then you're going to score half an inch here 
half an inch here and half an inch here so three way so you can have this um, small pocket then you go ahead go ahead and put some tape and I'm using the quarter of an inch the one I use for this page right here is a uh, I believe five eighths of an inch or you can use a half an inch too all right so now what I'm gonna do is just put it down this area just flushed to the bottom of the page and there it is so there's my pocket here a little pocket then for this whole thing I created a big old mat and that goes in here and I cut this one at 11 by 11 and then I used my scallop um, scallop or the I used the, the scallop um, um, uh, you know chumper corner chumper so that's why you see it uh, this way okay and then I matted with the paper I cut I cut the paper at uh, 10 and 3 quarters by 10 and th 3 quarters and that gives me the eighth of an inch all around the page so that's how that's going to go so that's going to be here so now we're going to mat let's see we're going to mat all this area and this and everything let me um, get my papers and we'll get together in two in two seconds all right my friends we'll continue I've already cut this and I cut it at <clears throat> which is the matting here quarter of an inch shorter so I'll give you the measurements ten and three quarters by ten by eleven and a quarter okay and I cut two so one is for front once for back let's see and then we're just going to put them just so like that and then I'll bring it up and put the second one and then I also stained it with um, vintage photo you don't have to stain it I just like the look and since I'm going for more of a um, vintage look I went ahead and give it that little distress look <laughs> and once I start putting you know all my um, paper down then I'm going to create the photo mats all right so same thing that we did before you're going to check that you have the eighth of an inch all around the paper and there it is oops Got a little kink in here all right there it is so there you go so now what I'm, I'm going to remove this mat so the next part would be to you know put paper on this this area so I'm going to get some paper here and see which ones I'm going to use oh I'm thinking of using this better okay so I'm going to this is another sheet this is such a big book it's hard it's hard to get it into frame but I'll try to do my best okay, I'm gonna cut this one at six uh, so it's half and half <clears throat> and I'll tell you why because one I'm going to put in here and the other one is going to be in this area so I have to measure this again just to remember I think it's 11 and a half yep 11 and a half so I'm gonna cut it at 11 and a quarter by six so 11 and a quarter right there okay let's take that out and that goes in here and same thing for this other one actually I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it there but in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and distress this too with some oh that's pretty too but I think I'm gonna use the other side all right photo uh, ink I uh, mean a uh, vintage photo by Tim Holtz but there's, he's got different different uh, colors there's other brown ones too in there if you like that or if you want to do the black soot which is pretty dark all right so now I'm going to put tape and I'm just using my running tape now because this is just the this is not part of the guts of the book this is just a matting so it doesn't require 
a strong glue, just a normal one, not the score tape. Some people can use it, but you know, it's more expensive for that. All right, so now what I'm going to do, you know what, I think I'm going to, no, I'm just gonna leave it straight like this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go inside here, just, <coughs> excuse me, so I can, um, all right, let's start over here. I gotta see the line in here. So again, you wanna leave that quarter, uh, eighth of an inch all around the paper. Ugh. There. There. Oops. So there it is. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so. I'm going to do this one too and I'm just going to cut it here and it kind of looks like one page and let's get this going so if this measures let's see four so I'm going to cut it at three and three quarters because it's a four inch piece by five and three quarters because remember it's a six so we always reduce it so three and three quarters right there. And that's by five and three quarters. Just so it, it can give you that little extra piece in there. All right, same thing. We'll go ahead and, um, we'll go ahead and uh, distress this one too. I know it's going to be a battle every time we try to get into frame with this book. I need to get me like a table right next to me so I can just put it there while while I demonstrate something. But leave me a message or let me know what else I can do to improve my video. But I, I'm just going the same pace as you guys are going. I am designing as I'm going. I don't have anything in mind. I just, whatever pops, that's what I'm going to do at that moment. And I'm okay with that. Okay, let's clean this up. And let's use some glue. So just as a rule of thumb, just remember it is one quarter of an inch shorter all around or smaller. And then you'll able to end up with this little, you know, edge. Kind of looks cute. All right, so let's put this right here. And that's perfect. And now we're going to do the top. I don't know if I do the top this way. Let me see. I don't know which one I like better. Or oh, I have to reduce. Oh, did I already cut it? No, I need to reduce it. No, I like that one. Because I'm going to put up a big old tag in there. So I have to reduce this one to whatever it is in length, but a little shorter. So it's going to be five and three quarters. I need to take that extra quarter off so it gives me that red edge, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and distress some more because I took that piece off. Okay, now glue. I really wanna try to have all the pieces cut before I can get into camera. It's just kind of hard because I don't know what I'm doing yet. I just, I'm going at the same pace you are. All right, so I'm going to go and put this right here and try to get that, you know, eighth of an inch all around and voila. So now you have this big old pocket that, uh, where are you, where are you? Ah. second where did I put my hmm. I don't know where I put my oh there's my mat my big mat okay so we open this way this one goes in here and it closes this way okay so now we got to work on the back but before that I have an extra piece that I cut that I want to put in here this way so this one measures Oops, helps if I put it the right way. What do you think? Seven by eleven and a half. 
then on the long on the long side you're going to score one inch and you know do your crease and put tape on it then I'm going to put it you know um, flushed to this edge right here so I am going to go this way and put it all the way in and burnish it so there you have it you have this extra flap for um, for pictures and I'm going to do the cloud not the cloud but the um, scallop sorry I'll cut that and I'll cut that all right so and that one I believe I think I'm gonna leave it red because I'm gonna be putting some photos in there but then I have this and this one doesn't fit oh yeah it does fit it's perfect for it and I have it in, in two colors I cut them last night and my Cricut let's see oh I like this I think I'm gonna go for this actually okay so I'm gonna use the brown or the black what do you guys think I don't know I like both I think I'm gonna use the black because I have two of the black and only one of the cream should I I don't know that cream looks really nice or not cream but um, you know um, craft color yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one okay let's uh, put some glue on it and I'll be right back okay friends so I already finished with page number one and I'm gonna show it to you so <clears throat> when um, I already remember told you I only have one of these I had to go and cut another one and by the way um, if any of you have these are the two um, cartridges that I'm, I'm using um, for uh, to do some of the cutting or some of the die cuts they have to do with Disney Mickey everything Disney obviously this is basically the fonts but it does have some um, icons in it and this one is really just icons different things um, sorry for the glare there anyways those are the ones and I cut this ones and I think I did I think I did a five I'm not so sure let me double check I think they're four. These ones are, I cut them at four. And then I cut, let me show you this, a bunch of the little ones. Same, same, same icon, um, but at two inches. And um, it would be, let's see, let me, there, let me get the book so you can, so I can tell you where I went. There it is. So I cut this one right here. Um, no, it's just under icon, just right here, and I manipulated it so it'll be two inches here, because I'm going to be using this one. All these little uh, Mickey shapes, I'm going to be using them as my tag uh, holders. This is a tag that I created for the front. So let me move this big Mickey here. So they're going to go like this. I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one in, in the back like this, and glue them together and that's going to be our tag right there okay so they're, they're going to look like that and um so that's that's what i use so if you want to go get it or not get it but that's what i'm using two inches and the other ones were cut at four inches and i used two to create those photo mats oops let me see if i can do this right here i'm going to put some glue on this and i'll be right back okay so I'm gonna start with this right here and I, I say it would be about half half the face of Mickey and I do the other one from the back there and there they are oh I got glue all over me I'm using this spray sometimes I like the spray better for some things but then I get it all over me uh, and I am a, a holy disaster so all right so there it is and this tag goes in here but I thought that, that would be a really cute um, accent to to emphasize Disney and obviously this would be photo mats in here and then you flip it over you still have photo mats in here this big one turns out and you can put photo mats in here and in here if you wanted to 
and then this one I am going to do it's almost like a layout that I'm going to do in here I'm gonna do uh, maybe about three frames in here with some embellishments and this is the back of it so picture here picture here and even pictures here um, sorry I'm out of frame so picture here here and then some maybe some journaling but you can still put pictures on this um, area and this big Mickey I don't know where I'm gonna put him yet but I was just you know playing with the machine and see what other sizes I could get and that was fun okay so um, what I'm gonna do is try to design we're done with page number one I just gotta do the back but I'm not even sure yet so I'll come back to you guys when I when I have designed page number two so we can go one at a time okay take care